Hey, Dan. Hey, Sean. Hey, I was wondering if I could um, ask you a question. Sure. Okay, there's a, like a number of options for uh, catalogs with Iceberg, and I was wondering if you could maybe give me some guidelines of the best one to choose for a particular use case, if there's sort of something I should be paying attention to for one versus another. Absolutely. Yeah, Iceberg does actually provide a, a wide range of catalog implementations. And I guess the first thing is to just uh, understand, like, what role does that fit within Iceberg? And mostly what the catalog does is it provides a mechanism for you to address a table. So when you want to go and look something up, you need to know where to find it and all the information about it. And that's really what the catalog is doing. So if you look at Iceberg, there's actually about a half dozen implementations available, including Hive Catalog, Hadoop Catalog, Glue Catalog, Dynamo Catalog, and the new REST Catalog. And you may be wondering, well, with all these options, you know, which one should I pick? Yeah. And, you know, a big determining factor may be some of your ecosystem. So if you already have like a Hive Meta Store and you've got a Hive setup and you're just kind of exploring, like, how do we bring Iceberg into our infrastructure? Mm -hmm. Hive Catalog might fit in very well because it allows you to work with the Hive Catalog alongside Hive tables. Uh, at the same time, if you're using cloud-based infrastructure and you already have Glue in your infrastructure, you might want to pick the Glue Catalog. And that might prevent introducing dependencies on Hives that you don't want in your infrastructure. Okay. The main thing, though, is more about like where the direction of the project is going, which is largely focused on the REST catalog implementation. Oh. So the REST catalog is different than the other catalogs because it's providing a spec-based interface to addressing tables and interacting with Iceberg metadata. Hmm. The value in doing that is that you can actually bring different languages. You don't have to worry about you know, separate implementations of Python or Java, or, you know, if there's a Rust implementation out there, all behaving differently in terms of how they interact with that backend catalog. Yeah. The REST catalog actually provides a nice specification for how you interact with metadata and allows the server to maintain consistency of that metadata so that you don't have any problems interfacing between different languages, different projects, different technologies. Oh, brilliant. Yep. The best part of this, of course, is that they can actually all sit alongside each other in most engines. So if you're using Spark or Flink, you can register multiple catalogs side by side and use them all together with the same queries, the same you know streaming jobs, things like that. And mm -hmm. that really helps with migrating from one to the other or just experimenting with something new like the REST catalog. Oh, wow. It sounds like that's going to solve a lot of problems. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you taking some time. Sure, no problem.